All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakodash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father, the Creator. His name means He exists, He is to be. Yahweh Shai is His Son's name, is, means He exists, or He, uh, excuse me, He saves or He delivers. Yahweh Shai means He saves or He, or he delivers. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, means He exists or He is to be. All right, that's the true name of the one you, the world, ignorantly called God and Jesus Christ. Okay, and double honors unto our apostles and elders of great millstone, the men that rule and teach world and that taught us this truth. And Shalom, you know, Wakasadim, Wabarakim, peace, mercy, and blessings unto all the hopeful elect, the Bayafshaw, Dawada, the house of David, the believers. All right, wherever you may be scattered. Okay, and this lesson is, is going to be about, you know, um, a few dreams, you know, which I believe through the spirit and power of Yah Bashem Yahushai were visions. You know, my mom has she uh, called me over, you know, and we were talking. She was telling me about a series of of dreams she had. You know, one dream it was about the uh, you know the chariots and the, and the angels. Well, she called them aliens. You know, another dream was about martial law, and another dream was about brothers getting spiritual power. You know, so I'm just gonna kind of go over what I remember from from the dreams, you know, uh, it was very powerful, very spiritual, you know, and um, just pretty much, you know, um, bring out all the details that I could remember and bring out some uh, precepts, you know, because we're in those times, we're halfway through the year 2023, you know, it's, 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 it's July, you know, a couple more months, we'll be in the winter months, and then before you know it, 2024, you know, which 2023 is the year, hopefully, year that all these prophecies come to pass. You know, Fed now, we see heavy military movement. You know, the rioting in France, you got uh, police pretty much turning in their, their badges. So shit is, is wild. You know, this 4th of July weekend just passed. You had a lot of death, a lot of people dying. Okay, so we're in that season of judgment, but we're also in that season of mercy and favor where the Lord is about to deliver his elect and give his men spiritual power. Okay, so now for the for the uh, visions. So the first vision she told me about, which I'm not sure if they were, uh, I believe she said she woke up and kind of went back to sleep. You know, so I don't know what order it's in, but the, uh, she told it to me. The first one was pretty much about the chariots. And, he, uh, you know, she described them. She says the aliens are going to come and they're going to show themselves. You know, she said one had a face like the sun and one had a face like, like like the moon, you know, and they came on their chariots and they didn't get out the chariots, but they just showed their faces. Now, according to the world, you know, these people, they think what's on those those uh, so-called spaceships are, are the greys, you know, your, your, your typical, your typical alien, uh, Marvin the Martian type, you know, looking being. But that's not true at all. You know, those are actually uh, demons, demonic figures, the the, the beings that and that uh, that that actually operate those heavenly vehicles, which they're not UFOs or unidentified area phenomena. They're the chariots of Yahweh by Shimei was shy, and the beings that operate those chariots are the angels. Okay, and the angels are so-called black men, Afros. Uh, beards, you know, uh, super tall. There, there's tons of information coming out. Brothers have done videos on it, you know, describing how the angels look. And people have given their testimonies about seeing tall, very tall black men with all their faces like they can never be, like they've never been conquered uh, coming out of these ships. Okay. So that's what's getting ready to, to happen, man. Okay. Yahweh was about to send his son give you how a shot a green light to come back to destroy this wicked kingdom and to deliver his elect and to set up an everlasting kingdom of righteousness. You know, so that's what we're looking for, man. And of course, in the midst of that, you're going to have some deception with Project Blue Beam. You know, Esau, he got some shit out there. But the elect are not going to be swayed, swayed nor be deceived by that because it ain't, it ain't possible to deceive the very elect, man. Okay? But yeah, it's pretty much what she was saying that, you know, the chairs were... were, were we're coming, and there is a there is a heavy increase in chariot sightings, man. You know, in the same way Yahweh Shai left Acts first chapter on the chariot, 
the angels told the, the apostles, man, that's the same way the Lord's going to return. So this is what we're looking for. We're looking for those chariots. Okay. Now, the second half of the dream, which is pretty much dealing with, you know, martial law, Jacob's trouble. You know, she told me she, uh, you know, somehow she started to look outside and the, uh, the troops were out there, you know, uh, troops, men dressed up in uh, military attire, weaponry, tanks, MRAPs, vehicles. And what they were doing, they were putting people on lockdown, making them stay inside their homes. So they wouldn't look up and see the chariots. You know, I, I remember her specifically saying that. She said they, they made people stay in the house so they wouldn't look up and see the chariots. <laughs> you know, and and, uh, and, uh, and that part was kind of uh, tripping me out, man. You know, because we know the scripture speaks about the clouds. Uh, well, that's actually the chariots. of be how about Shemmy was trying. You know, so let's get a few scriptures about the uh, chariots. I actually didn't pull none. You know, me and the brothers, we were just reading the book of Acts 2. We were doing a, a homework on on this book, which we're living in the time of Acts now. It's very powerful. You know, this is Acts 1. Dealing with the ascension, right? Acts 1 and 9. And when he had spoken these things, this is Yahweh Shai speaking to his men. And while they beheld, he was taken up. And the cloud received him out of their sight. So Yahushua was delivered in a cloud or a chariot or what the world would call a UFO. He got beamed up into a UFO. The same thing happened. Uh, Elijah, Elisha saw Elijah get beamed up. The disciples saw Yahushua get taken up in a chariot. Okay? And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. These two men are two angels. They were sent to comfort them. And which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand you gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. So the same way the Lord left is on a chariot. The same way the Lord's going to come back with those chariots, man. It's Revelation 1. It's Revelation chapter 1, verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Okay, meaning meaning, it's gonna be a um, you know, every, it's gonna be it's gonna be something to shock the world. It's gonna be something that everybody sees, something that you can't hide, you know. And they also which pierced him. Now this is after Yahweh Shai rose and ascended. This is a future prophecy that we're waiting for. Okay, so this proves reincarnation. You know, because the Romans, you know, the ancient Roman Empire has, has fallen. Now, America is the revived Roman Empire. Okay, so that proves reincarnation. And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so, amen. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the Lord to come back on those chariots. And that's how the elect are going to get delivered on what the world calls UFOs, man. This is Revelation chapter 11, verse 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. This is the elect. The elect are going to get taken up in those chariots too. Okay. And they, and, and they ascended up to heaven in the cloud, and their enemies beheld them. So our <laughs> enemy is going to be watching us, man. You know, Lord will not be part of that number. Our enemies are going to be watching us being taken up out of this hellhole, out of this wicked kingdom will be delivered all right and, and up into the into the heavens all right via the ufos well what the world calls ufos via via the chariots that's gonna that's <coughs> how the lord's gonna deliver his elect okay the same way the lord's gonna destroy this place with those chariots those chariots are gonna do major damage man okay this is what's coming future prophecy man okay because the, uh, the second part of the dream is pretty much dealing with uh, Jacob's trouble. You know, the, the enemy coming in like a flood. You know, because she said she looked outside and the troops were kind of were, were putting people on lockdown. You couldn't leave your home. You couldn't come out on the streets because they didn't want you to see the chariots that are in the sky. You know, so this devil is doing all type of chemtrails. He's burning chemicals. He's 
doing things to try to block out the sun. He's using Project Blue Boom. He's doing all these tactics so that you don't see the chariots in the sky. Hell, most people, they just be on their phone looking down on their phone screen all day or you look at a computer screen all day. You know, most for the most part, a lot of people do not look up. But then when they do look up, you, you'll see them, they'll catch the chariots. Excuse me. That's why I say like uh, so-called UFO sightings are way up this year, man. And that's that's spiritual. You know, but hey, we we seen the past few weeks have a military movement all over America. You know, it's Fed now is getting ready to launch. Okay, Fed now is getting ready to launch. The dollar is getting ready to collapse. Uh, food is gone, running out. They're giving you lab-grown meat now. Okay, this is the book of Luke chapter 19. At verse 42, excuse me, 43. For the days shall come upon thee that thy enemies shall cast a trench about thee and compass thee around and keep thee in on every side. Compass meaning completely around. So these enemies, they, the troops, you know, they're going to besiege the cities, or blockade the cities and then compass around it, meaning they're going to lock people in. They're going to put people on lockdown. Okay, and they're going to patrol, they're going to set up checkpoints. Okay, and, and in those days, a man shall desire to go to a city and not be able, hell, leave a city and not be able to because of the current situation. Watch that movie Songbird, man. All right, the movie Songbird that came out in the midst of the whole scamdemic. Well, that's what's going to be happening. You won't be able to be allowed to leave your house unless you are a, um, you know, how you say it. Unless you're a necessary worker, man. You know? Unless you're an essential worker. Other than that, you're pretty much stuck in the house on lockdown. You know, they're going to ration you food. Actually, they're going to come and take your food, man. That's second of the 16. And then they're going to cast, start casting people out of their homes and putting them in the sea camps, man. Okay? This is the times that we're coming into. Let's get that in second of the 16. This is Second Andrews chapter 16. Second Andrews 16 and verse 68. For behold... The burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. Okay, and that's the devil coming down with great wrath. You can precept this with Revelation 12 and verse 12. That's that great wrath. That's the burning wrath of a great multitude. Okay, and he's going he's gonna to allow military troops to come in. Super soldiers, if you will. Okay, and they shall take away certain of you. All right, remember Revelation 2. And the devil shall cast some of you into prison and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. And that ultimate idol is the, is the rice device. Okay? And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and reproach and trodden unto foot. And if you consent unto them, meaning you give them consent to sacrifice you unto this idol or to put this rice device inside of you, you're going to be mocked. You're going to be a reproach. They're going to trod you down. They're going to they're gonna destroy you, man. Okay? Verse, uh, it says, For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Meaning there's going to come a time where they're going to come against the Israelites, man. They're going to they're come for us. There's going to be uh, the days of great persecution, putting brothers' face on the news. You see this whole AI uh, shit that's going on. Okay. 71. They shall be like madmen, sparing none. Okay. But still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Yeah, this is what they're going to do, man. The troops, martial law, UN troops, different uh, 
m militias, super soldiers coming for brothers, man. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of the house. I mean, they're going to run into your house and put people on lockdown, run in your house, throw you out your house, and take all your shit. Cause so there ain't no use of uh, doomsday prepper. Okay? The scripture says they're going to they're gonna cast them out. And they're going to uh, waste and take away their goods and cast them out their houses, man. Okay? 73. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. So in this time, it's going to be made evident or clear who the Lord's elect is. And they shall be tried as gold in the fire. It's going to be a, it's going to be a, a, a time of, of great trying. Scripture calls in Revelation 3 the hour of temptation. But the elect will be kept during this hour, man. 74. Hear, O ye, my beloved, said the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. But I will deliver you from the same, right? The days of trouble are coming, right? But Yahweh Hashem El Shai is going to deliver us from the same days full of trouble. 75. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh Hashem El Shai is your guide. So we're, we're not, we're pretty much commanded to not fear, man. Not be afraid. Yahweh Hashem El Shai is going to guide us and protect us and lead us through this, man. You know, the Lord's going to give brother spiritual power. He's going to rise up angels to protect us. The Spirit's going to be dealing, man. The Spirit's already dealing. Okay. Let's see. This is the book of Isaiah 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai from the west. All right. And its glory from the rising of the sun. So that's all around the globe. Okay. When the enemy shall come in like a flood. And that's the time the enemy coming in like a flood. They're coming in to cast you in the sea camps to sacrifice you with things or to idols, man. The spirit of Yahweh Hashem El Shai shall lift up a standard against him. So that's what's getting ready to happen. The standard is getting ready to be lift, lifted, man. Okay? And that's Michael the Archangel standing up for the children of the people. That's brothers getting spiritual power. That's chariots destroying this place. That's Yahweh sending Yahweh shot back. Okay? You look up the standard here. It says, To flee, to escape, to depart, to disappear, to fly, to the attack. Okay? And that reminds me of Brightburn. Uh, in that movie Brightburn, he he has power to fly, and he will you know, fly at you full speed and attack your ass, man. All right, the end of the scene, he, he took his so-called mom, which, which it wasn't his real mom, stepmom, if you will. She tried to stab him in the back, literally. You know, and she, he took her, and he uh, flew straight up in the air, you know, as high as the plane could fly, and he dropped her ass, man. <laughs> you know? To drive at, to take flight, to put to flight, to drive hastily, to cause to disappear at high. So the Lord's going to either give us power to hide, you know, to fly. The scripture does say, Thou shalt mount up with wings as eagles. Or just power to fight back and put these devils to flight. And the scriptures also say, One man of you shall chase a thousand. Okay? Now, the, the latter part of the dream she told me is about a, a man, you know, he had a spiritual power. You know? Said so a man had, had spiritual power, man. You know, she went... In the dream, she uh she was called to go and calm someone down, you know, because in the dream, this man, he um, pretty much snapped, you know, he got super angry, and they said it was like lightning. I'm just remember what she told me. She said she was called to calm a man down. She was the only one that could calm him down. And when she got there, you know, the man's face was glowing. His hands were like super big, and they were glowing like, like lightning, like he had power to control lightning, you know. I remember the, the, the last year, the brother Rob Muff, you know, shallow on to that brother, he shared a dream to where we were actually man manipulating the element of fire, you know. So, hey, different brothers may very well get, you know, different abilities, maybe manipulate lightning, uh, thunder, uh, fire, uh, water, you know, these movies, X-Men, Cartoons, anime, and all that, they they ain't just made for nothing, man. The most is really going to allow us men to do certain things like that, man. You know? And she also told me that, you know, she wasn't watching anything that would, that would you know, 
spark her subconscious in, in any way. She wasn't watching no no movies. You know, she just, you know, was just up. And then she had fell asleep. And then she had these dreams, which I believe are visions. Because the scripture said, man, scripture said the Lord, the Lord is going to lift up the standard. Scripture talks about the time of Jacob's trouble. Martial law. The scriptures talks about the second coming of Yahweh Shai. You know, and these are all things she dreamt about. You know. But yeah, the Most High is going to lift up that standard. And the Spirit of the Lord is going to come on, brothers, man. Okay. This is John. Excuse me. This is the book of Judges, chapter 14 and verse 5. Then went Samson down and his father and his mother to Timnath and came to the vineyards of Timnath. And behold, a young lion roared against him. And the spirit of Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai came mightily upon him. And he rent him as he would have rent a kid. And he had nothing in his hand, but he told not his father or mother what he had done. So the lion <coughs> came against Samson, but the spirit of the Lord came mightily upon Samson. He ripped the lion up as he would a kid, man. A young male goat. <laughs> okay. So he, he, he treated his ass like a little goat, man. Ripped him up. That's spiritual. You know, kid is a baby goat. You know, both sides getting ready to separate the sheep from the goat. You know? Uh, I'll read it again. Judges 14 and 6. And the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai came mightily upon him. So that's what's getting ready to happen to certain brothers, man. You're just going to feel a rush uh, of power. You're going to call upon that name. Your faith, your trust in the name. You're going to feel a, a rush of power, man. You know, going back to the vision, she said she got to the man and he, uh, you know, witnessed her around. She asked him what happened to this man. She said they were telling him that he just snapped and just a rush, uh, just got so angry, a rush of power flew through his body like electricity. You know, and the man, she tried to comfort the man, which she did, but the man wouldn't let her see his face. Like his face, she said the face was glowing, but she couldn't see his, his face. And she said his hands were glowing like lightning, and he was just very, very angry. <laughs> you know, and I and I and I, I thought of this scripture, man. You know, Judges fourteen and six, and the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai came mightily upon him. That was getting ready to happen. You know, in these weak bodies, you know, they can't. That's why the Most High has to give us new bodies. These bodies can't really take, you know, the, that if you will, man. You know, but hey, the Lord can do it. The Lord can you know, give us a certain minute, a certain measure of power to to get busy on these devils, man. And the spiritual is way better than the carnal. You know, all the weaponry this devil got, spiritual, it can't match spiritual power. Okay? With the name of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the elect are going to be unmatched out here, undefeatable. Okay? And people are going to be in fear of the elect when they see that the spirit is upon them, man. Just like one. Just like during the time of Samson, you know. This is Ezekiel 25 and verse 12. Thus said Yahweh by Shemiel tried power, because that Edom had dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and had greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. And that's and that's, this, this, this not what this devil has done. We're yet this day in captivity under Edom. Okay. 13. Therefore, thus said Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, power, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom, and will cut off from it man and beast, and I will make it desolate from Teman, and they of the, the Dan shall fall by the sword. 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom, okay? By the hand of my people Israel, I meaning the Lord's going to rise up his people, the men, Israelite men, to give vengeance on Edom. And they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, said Yahweh by Shem Yahushua power. I mean, the most I'm going to put is spirit of the Lord, the spirit of anger, the spirit of courage. Okay, the, the spirit of might, the great warrior spirit <laughs> is going to come upon men. Okay, the most I'm going to lift up a standard. All right, and the most I'm going to get vengeance on Esau by the hand of his people Israel. Call on him, lie, Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. This is Wisdom of Solomon 5 and uh, 16, 15. But the righteous live forevermore. The reward also is with the Lord, and the care of them is with the Most High. 16. Therefore shall they receive a glorious kingdom and a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand. 
For with his right hand shall he cover them, and with his arm shall he protect them. That's the point. 17. He shall take to him his jealousy for a complete armor, and make the creature his weapon for the revenge of his enemies. The Most High is going to make the creature, the creation of man, the Israelite man, his weapon for the revenge of his enemies. So who's the enemies? The Edomites and the other nations. Okay, so going back to what I remember about the dream, you told me she met the man and uh, um, and uh, some she was called somewhere to meet the man. Now, I'm not sure if he was at his house or if he was out somewhere with with his friends. But she said no one could calm him down. But you know, to the spirit, she was called there and she was able to calm him down. And she noticed the man had power, but he was struggling to control his power. You know. When she got there, his face was glowing. He was, he was pretty much praying in the corner. He was down on one knee, uh, you know, um, in in the corner, and everybody ran away from him except, I guess, some close friends, you know. And now I'm so lucky. I'm just you know speaking whatever I could remember. Like I said, it was a very uh, heavy dream. You know, she says she ran. She saw the man, the man was with his friends, maybe out eating somewhere, I don't know, you know. But anyway, the power he got so upset, you know, uh, the spirit, what I took it as, the spirit came upon him. The Lord gave him, tapped into him, gave him that power, and he couldn't really control it because he had, you know, just got it. You know, I show you that, you know. And then they, she found him. He was pretty much praying in, in the corner, you know, and, uh, he wouldn't let her see his face. He was hiding his face for her, but she was able to calm him down, you know. And the men that were with him, you know, they they was telling him like, "We have to hide you. We have to get you somewhere," you know. And she said, uh, "Another man put her in the car with with the man with the power, and they drove far away. They took him far, far away, to, like to a cabin or you know somewhere very secluded. And he had to stay there. He couldn't return to his life anymore." You know, because of what happened at that moment, he's pretty much told to stay there. And you, know, you know, she said, uh, "We'll come back for you, bring you food." You know, and then she said the people kept telling them, "Don't tell anyone about this power." <laughs> you know, so hey, man, you know, I just took it as that. You know, brothers, you know, the Lord's getting ready to, the Lord's gonna raise up His men. The Lord's gonna give them power. The Lord's gonna lift up that that standard. You know, the Lord's gonna protect His men. You know, we just we just got to believe, you know. Don't stop believing, man, no matter what it looks like. Hey, we walk by faith and uh, not by sight, you know. So I pray that this one has been uh, comforting and edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakodash. Double honors unto apostles and elders, a great millstone. Shalom to the elect.